We guarantee this next segment will make you hungry. One of the most celebrated chefs in the country calls Madison home. Susan Simon joins us tonight for a mouthwatering <laughs> segment of the conversation. Hi guys, we're talking about Tori Miller, who is no longer Madison's best kept secret. The executive chef at L'Etoile and Gray's restaurants is one of the most sought after chefs in the country after winning the Oscar of the culinary world two weeks ago. Lucky for us, this Wisconsin native is staying close to home. He looks like a kid on Christmas morning among all the fresh produce at the midweek farmer's market in downtown Madison. You have nine. Nine, nine okay. Twice a week, Tory Miller fills his cart with the best ingredients money can buy for his two award-winning restaurants, Gray's and L'Etoile. I'm the kind of chef that is inspired by food and by ingredients and not necessarily by technique or recipes. So I'd much rather go out to the market and I see the farmers. When you go out as a chef and there's someone behind the table saying, look at what I grew and you have an opportunity to buy it. And I'm thinking to myself, this is an opportunity for me. What am I going to do with it? What Tori does with food has earned him the Oscar of the culinary world. This month, Tori won the James Beard Award for Best Chef in the Midwest. Oh, Look at this thing. Yep. It looks like an Olympic medal. Yeah, it was heavy. And, you know, like you wear it all night. You know? and, <laughs> and all my all my friends in New York, they're like, okay, so just wear it for three days. <laughs> And then, you know, start taking it off, you know, when you shower. <laughs> and then after the fourth day, you know, really wean yourself off Maybe of it. Maybe you should just saunter <laughs> through the dining room. <laughs> yeah. It was really Two funny. years ago, Tori purchased L'Etoile, a fine dining destination in Madison for 30 years. L'Etoile has a new home in the first floor of the U.S. Bank building on the Capitol Square. Its sister restaurant, the more affordable Gray's, is next door. You have the, the best location I can imagine. Look at this view. Incredible. It's incredible. I mean, do you have to pinch yourself and say, this is mine? Yeah, sometimes, like, you know, we sit with the other owners and I'm just like, do you believe that we did this? <laughs> it's a long way from where Tori's career began. I mean, I grew up in a restaurant at my grandparents. My grandparents owned it in Racine and um, it was called the Park Inn. And we had cheeseburgers and malts. <laughs> it was old school diner, you know. And um, I used to love it. I used to love there to go there. Tori trained at the French Culinary Institute in Manhattan. And while working in New York, Madison's reputation revealed itself in the name of Odessa Piper, who founded L'Etoile in the 70s and pioneered the farm to table idea that is so entrenched here today. So I sent my resume all over and Odessa was the only person that called me back. And it was really funny because some of the restaurants are still here and some of them aren't anymore. And I always think about like what could have been had someone else called me or had she maybe not called me back. With two restaurants and 130 employees, Tori works an average of 80 hours a week. I am a, a bit of a workaholic and I take a, a lot of lumps for that, <laughs> especially in my personal life, because I definitely am, you know, as chefs, you give up a lot and you, you sacrifice a lot of, of yourself for this. Finding balance was a lesson Tory learned the hard way after a run in with the law last fall. He made headlines for punching a man in the face in a bar fight downtown and was charged with battery. Like if you don't learn something from something like that, then, you know, you, you, either you're not a good person or you're just destined to just keep repeating that behavior. And anybody that knows me knows that, you know, that was like, that happened and they were just like, wow, you know, like things happen to everyone and, you know. When I sit here at a beautiful restaurant like this, what is it that you want me to take away from having eaten here? When you're a guest and you sit down, you're like, well, I'm spending money to eat here, so it better wow me. Yeah, prepare to get your socks knocked off because that's what we want to do, you know. When Tori does get a day off, he likes to get away from the kitchen and spend it with his two-year-old son. In his acceptance speech for the Beard Award, Tori gave credit to the farmers at the Madison Market, who he said inspire him every day to be the very best. He knows all of them by name, and they know him wow. at the market twice a week. That is impressive stuff. So what is next for Tori? Would he consider something like a reality cooking show? You know, I asked him that. Yeah. He's, a, he's a big fan of those shows, and he said he might think about doing Iron Chef because he has a lot of respect respect for chef Michael Simon and their food is very similar. So as we say in the biz, uh -huh. stay tuned. Yeah. He is a talent. Yeah. All right, Susan, thanks for sharing it with You're us. You're welcome.